Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. I am currently in Hongdae. It is around 8.53 and we are going to be going on a Paju City tour bus today and I just want to take you guys with me. I am currently in Hongdae because the bus goes from Hongdae which is super convenient. I love that. We don't need to go all the way to Paju. So if you guys are ever in Korea and want to go to Paju, this is going to be your vlog. So keep watching! <laughs> So we are here at our first stop and the really convenient thing is that the tour guide is explaining to us exactly just what it is that we are seeing and I feel like that in itself is just so good because for me personally I like to know the history and it's a great way to learn so basically this is the entrance and as you guys can see there is different roads so there will be a king road there will also be like a civilian road and then there'll also be a road for incense or um, paper as you guys see right here the road that we are going to be walking on is the road that the king rode on and then the road on the side is for carrying incense, written papers, and for ceremonies. This is where a lot of ceremonies were held. Guys, this is so cool. You could see the imprint on the side over here. We can't walk on this, but we are going to walk to the side. This is all of the food that they would put for the king. Um, a very big wide variety and we can't go inside but that would be where they put all of the food for the Chesa ceremony. So what you guys see right here is a joint tomb of Injo, the 16th king of the Joseon dynasty with his queen. And basically we are in Changmeng, so what you guys see right there is going to be a tomb of the 16th king of the Joseon dynasty. <laughs> so the thing that I really like about going on these types of tours is that the guide will explain to you about the culture and everything that we are here to look at. So that for me is very um, convenient, especially for me since I am born in the States. When I learned about like the history of Korea, I didn't get to really learn um, a lot of stuff like this. So for me, it is also a learning experience. And I also feel like if anybody else is coming, it's going to be a learning experience for them as well. So yeah, learning a lot today. Also, they are giving us a little bit of time to just walk around, get some fresh air. Um, most of the times with tours, I don't like it if it's kind of like really back to back and tight. So I like that me and my mom are getting some fresh air right now. It is really nice today. So perfect weather. Also like the foliage is super pretty right now. As you guys can see right here too. All right guys, we are here at the Munsan Chayushijang, which is the Munsan Freedom Market. We are gonna actually get lunch here and then we are gonna do more of the course. So we came into a Hejangguk place and I am gonna be getting Seomjikguk or Yangpyeong Hejangguk. So the Hejangguk is out and Hejangguk usually means hangover soup and in this soup there is going to be blood cow blood cake. Uh, I know that sounds disgusting, but it's actually really good, so... I'm not gonna lie, I did a drink yesterday, so... It is kind of like a hint. So 
a bunch of like herbs at Xichang usually, so it's really easy to get herbs like this. Also, for those of you guys, if you guys don't know what this is, this is actually where they make sesame seed oil. This is like how you make sesame seed oil. It's so cool. at the next destination. So it's my like third time in Paju and then my mom too but she told me that Paju is really big and also yeah so my mom hasn't been here either I haven't been here either it's a first for both of us although we've been to Paju and yeah we're just following the guide right now it's really comfortable and then at the end we also do have free time so I really like this course because we just ate lunch so it's like we're squash killing right we're squash killing our food. 그냥 힘들게 뭐 생각하실 필요 없어요. 오른쪽으로 들어가셨다가 왼쪽으로, 왼쪽으로 나오면 돼요. 돼요. So Yulgogi actually founded this like school or Seoul or like a private academy and then on the side is where the students would sleep and they would just kind of rest, study there and then they would actually go and learn from him or other scholars after that so this is what it is so this is where yurugogi's mortuary tablet is as you guys can see right here it you can't go in but you can see it from afar and it is in this place since we came here during fall the foliage is super beautiful and i definitely think that the weather is great as well so it's a plus for today. I also want to say though that this tree is huge. You can tell that they really tried their best to preserve it as much as possible. And the fact that like it's still here, personally for me, it's like mesmerizing because that's the power of nature. All right, guys, we are walking up to see Yulgogi's tomb and the family tombs. Leg day. Good <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so I just made it to the top and this is where Yugogi and his family are at as you guys can see in this tombs <laughs> A lot of families come here and also do char in front of the tombs so Paju City actually does a lot of these tours. There is a lot of bus tours. The one that we are on today is going to be the Ogap Nuri tour. But then there is also a Tongil tour, a Pyeongal tour, a Chontong tour. So whatever your tour style is, if you like to eat, if you like to sightsee, if you like to do a little bit of both, if you like a little bit more history, I feel like you can pick your course. This is the course that we picked because my mom loves history. Hey. So yeah, and we thought that we would actually go out on a Sunday day since you know Sunday we were both resting so yeah it feels kind of good to go out of Seoul personally and just have some family time a lot of the families here are also having family time it's honestly such a beautiful day and with each stop it's like around 20 minutes so just like looking outside the window and doing a little bit of sightseeing there too so basically this is like a map of the things you can do in Paju. So we are at the Yurugok Arboretum right now and it is huge. So we're just gonna kind of go around, look around. I don't think we can like go over the whole thing because it's just so big. Um, a lot of people are just here resting. Some people have brought their families here. So we're just gonna walk around a little bit and yeah enjoy our last like healing i feel like it's really good that this is the last one right because mm -hmm. it's kind of like very healing in a way mm -hmm. if you guys have watched my singapore vlog you guys know that me and my mom like to go um be within nature i feel like we're more like nature trip people more than like city so this is kind of like up our alley i was actually the most excited for this even though it was last on our list i'm so glad that it's like the perfect way to end the trip Oh, 
spotted a rainbow. So pretty. I feel like if we came a little bit earlier, it would have been a lot prettier since all the leaves have already fallen. But um, it's okay, it's still pretty. Guys, so we are gonna be just taking a rest. We have around like 20 minutes. We did pack some tangerines, so we are gonna be eating that and then just kind of enjoying the area since we don't really get to see this a lot in Seoul. Yeah, as you guys can tell, my mom's taking up the tangerines. It was her idea. I was like, let's not bring it. And then now I'm like, such a good idea. <laughs> So they were telling me that I should just try my best to get it in. So I'm gonna do it till I can get it in. That I didn't do that. back home after our Paju City tour and I wanted to do the outro at home because it was really loud but I wanted to let you guys know my honest opinion and I felt like me and my mom will have different opinions what we liked so I'm gonna be letting her go first Paju up the sale 너무 좋았고 파주는 음. 제가 이제 가고 싶은 데가 많이 생겼어 파주에 아, 맞아 오늘, 엄청 오늘, 많더라고 오늘. 우리가 간 것보다 더 그치, 훨씬 그치. 더 많아 응. 그래서 앞으로 봄 되면 음. 더 많은 투어를 할 생각이야. Personally for me, I feel like it was really good because any age can go. There was a lot of grandmas, grandpas, there was also younger kids, um, married couples and then also just like mother daughter time. So I feel like this tour is for anybody and also the thing that I like about it is with each day it has a different tour so you can technically pick and prefer what you want to go to and what your you know traveling style is today was more like history and then also just like a healing experience which I feel like we really needed because it is the end of the year and we came back from Singapore as well so I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one bye, bye. I just wanna take a